Welcome back to episode 2 of Hogwarts Legacy. In the last one, we were selecting our house. I think we ended up with Ravenclaw. And we are about to start the game. Let us see how it goes. Uh, accept house. The sort who makes an entrance. Is that cause I picked Ravenclaw or it's... I, I got an you achievement. Oh. In Ravenclaw! I'll be honest though, when I did my Pottermore, uh, I did it like four times, I got Hufflepuff three times, and and Ravenclaw once. So I too like to throw hamsters at people. <laughs> Look at me, they're cheering. They're so stoked on me. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. That's a smart way for them to not put Quidditch in the game. Entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I've heard that people are going out of their way to spoil the ending of the game. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw Common Room. You must solve a riddle. Do I have to do that all the time. It won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? None. A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non being can never have been. Yeah, I totally meant that when I said no. <laughs> yeah, I just well totally done. meant none being. <laughs> now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Totally meant that. Yeah, I deserve to be in Ravenclaw. I don't know what they were doing, putting me in, Hog in Hufflepuff. Three times. Totally an error on the on Potomo's end. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh, is it really cool? You know, the funny thing is, I don't know why Hermione was in Gryffindor instead of Ravenclaw. Cause her entire personality is I can't oh I can. Her entire personality is, I am smart, I shall do smart things, I shall outsmart you. Because like, when, what what did she do in each of the Harry Potters? I think I'm about to go on a rant. Let me stand here. Can I open the window? I want to go on a rant. Um, Harry Potter 1, oh, Shudley Cannons. Harry Potter 1, what does Hermione do? Hermione solves the riddle of Devil's Snare. Hermione solves how to get past the dog. Hermione solves everything, doesn't do much else. Harry Potter 2, Hermione, solves that the Basilisk can be looked at in a mirror and she won't die. Harry Potter 3, Hermione literally gets a pendant or a, what, what is it, a time turner that helps her do classes twice as much as she wants to do. Harry Potter 4, I don't think Hermione did much, she was just cam captured by the by the... sorry, I have a phone call. She was just captured by the underwater people. Harry Potter 5. Hermione teaches people um, 
defense against the dark arts and she's so focused on her owls and i'm not sure if harry potter 5 is where she was talking about um talking about freeing the the house elves i'm not sure if that's harry potter 5 or 6 maybe that shows a bit of bravery trying to go ahead and fight the system but still she was so focused on her owls she was super serious she was maybe harry potter 5 she did show a bit of gryffindor harry potter 6 what did hermione do in harry potter 6 i genuinely have no clue but anyway hermione should have been a ravenclaw end of rant I'm not even sure if i'll be keeping that in this whole segment maybe i will and i'll put a place where you can skip my rants Pictures are moving. What's that he's holding? A bowling ball. And is that a platypus? Perry, is that you? So I'm meant to be going downstairs, but I can't run. How do I run? That's oh. just brilliant, Ali. Brilliant. Oh, that's aiming. Interesting. Ah, that is not how that. Is different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Definitely. Does Revelio do anything for me? I'm not looking forward at all to learning about the snow. There's a reason that thing has done. <laughs> this should be interesting. I'll talk to you, but just let me see. I need a fire spell for Ignatia, yeah, I would imagine Ignatia Wildsmith needs a fire spell. This is really pretty. Introduce Stop talking about me. I'm from... And I can't think of something snappy. Was never able to do that back then. Hi, Rowena. She has her crown on the top of her head as well, right? Yeah. Can I break this pot? Ooh. Okay. Why can't I run? I want to run. I want to run. I want to run. I want to run. Just have to wait for the right moment. Okay, what are you doing? Hi, Everett. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone for a dumb ball. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out. Why would you do that in the common room, though? That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. How do you know that? Um, how am I feeling? I'm actually excited, not gonna lie. I'm glad to be here. Catastrophe is confident. Is Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb. And I'm still here. Wait. Did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha! <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you! You too, Everett. I don't know if I'm keeping that rant inside, but same for Fred and George, now that I think about it. I don't think they did anything brave, apart from in Harry Potter 7. What is this? Bro. Suppose it's better than stink sap, but not by much. Why won't she just let us use Gillywood? What's the point of even learning about her mm, knowledge? Not right either. Can I eat apples? I can. Does that heal me? Samantha Deal. I've forgotten the name of the last guy. I want him to be in the perfect place. Who? The place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. You're talking about a plant. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. Yes, you I are. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> I like her voice. Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwild Potion? It is is looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making actually professor fig told me about wigan world potion of course i heard you were studying with him before term 
He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. <laughs> Professor Fig does know a great deal about uh, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I was going not the same exact thing. I was going to be like, I wonder if I had picked another class, would I still be getting these same things? Would I still be getting these same interactions? Would there be a random slither in throwing dung bombs at people? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my room. Haha, <laughs> quite funny. I, don't, I want to see, if I press this, yeah, we get herbology? the same thing and I can't skip. Oh, I can. Okay. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Pleasure. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. I like that accent. Um, Amit. So Samantha and... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's happening there? Did, did you guys see that? <laughs> I can't rule, so I'm guessing I'm not meant to That's be running. Just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You think you could. Ah! That is not how that. <laughs> Why, hello? Would you like to take a look? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I've never been one, but you know what? Whatever, I she's curious. My schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed. Because yeah, I don't dream about I stars. I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. I think it was my sister who was telling me. New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Um, my sister was telling me about uh, there's a constellation called Canis Major or Canis something about a dog, and uh, it's also called Sirius. So this guy just mentioned the name Sirius in one of the stars, and hey, I know what that is, kind of, sort of, maybe. Is that a ghost? She wasn't there before. I can't run. Can I talk to the ghosts? Does this harp not have any strings? You have to get really close for the harps to have strings. Who's this? Is there a ghost we should know from Ravenclaw? I know Rowena herself was a ghost. Oh, I have to go down there. Rowena herself was a ghost, and there was a whole backstory of her nearly headless Nick. Wow, I'm surprised I remember that. Revelio. How did you enter? This is the Raven for common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your Yofda. unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, 
We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. I feel like the pages should not be flying out of the book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Feels like I'm still playing a movie so far. Whoa. This way. Was that the door opening or was that the night? Did the night just move? The night is moving, right? The guy I'm not crazy. Opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about visiting Novelia. I'll definitely get lost over here. So it was the door, but I'm so sure that night was moving. So I can aim like that. Potato. I certainly yes. would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. So can I free aim? Yes, I can. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Done. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Your progress towards completing challenges. Did I just get experience? Are the only way to acquire experience? Ah, okay. So, whoops. This is your wizarding level experience. So the only way to level up is through collecting those. So attacking things and like attacking enemies and defeating them doesn't give you experience. I'm glad they made that clear. Your field guide, select the challenges. <clears throat> one percent. So I collected one and it's one percent. So I'm guessing there's exactly a hundred field guides. Each challenge has tiers, special from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed at the challenges menu. Okay. Um, if I press start, I saw gear over here and I'm just a bit curious. Um, I have a scarf. Nope. Wait, well, you can destroy things. And well, black leather gloves? No. Wand handles. I thought I thought I was meant to be able to choose the wand I want, or is that still pending? Quests, map, settings. Also, now the settings are here. No wonder it was taking so long to load like these settings, because the game isn't meant to be doing that. Okay, back. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I guarantee you I will get lost. You know, I used I, I remember saying in the last episode I did play No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Great. I did play a lot of Harry Potter games. The only one I don't remember playing is Harry Potter 2, because I played Harry Potter 1 on the PS1, Harry Potter 3 on the oh. 113 spider question mark question mark if i press open can i shoot this how do i okay i'll be back for you i'm guessing this is an addition addition thing and like spider counts for a number is it one two three four five six seven eight nine so four so i need to 
I, I'll come back for this. Um, what was I saying? I played Harry Potter 1 long ago on PS1, Harry Potter 3 on PC, Harry Potter 4 on PC. Those were great games. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Ignatia Wildsmith. That's the one up there. Open map. Select. The two main areas. Left side is where the students and professors live. This common room. Okay. Where am I meant to be going? Um, okay. Am I meant to be going somewhere? Oh, it's green over there. No? Green flu flames, grey flu flames. In this view, you can see... Okay. The right side is where you'll find academic points of interest. Astronomy, lighthouse, greenhouse. Professor Weasley has unlocked. Use R to rotate. Oh, you can rotate the map. Okay. And fast travel with X. I was saying Harry Potter 3 and 4. Really, really good games, but they never let you explore the castle. They were still like kids games, I would say. And then Harry Potter 5 and 6. I think I played those on PS2. And in those, you could just run around the castle and you could go anywhere you wanted. You could randomly duel people in the middle of the castle and you'd get a lot of points. And I remember Levy Corpus being super, super OP in Harry Potter 5. And Harry Potter 6. I don't remember Harry Potter 6 that much. I didn't play it that much. I think my PlayStation 2 back then crashed uh, when I was playing Harry Potter 6 or something along those lines where it just didn't save properly. And then Harry Potter 7. I never did play Harry Potter 7, but I've heard that that game was just tragic. I'm not sure what, what, what happened, but people just did not like that game at all. Um... So yeah, and then I think there were other random games, Quidditch games and on. I didn't play those ones, but from Harry Potter 5 and 6, it did allow me to explore the castle and I think I'll and be able to... And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I remember um, Harry Potter, those games only you let you... Get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Thanks. They only let you go... I think I'm talking a lot in this episode, by the way. Don't really mind. Um, those games really did let you... Only did let you go to the Great Hall, um, to the Gryffindor area, and I think to the library to do random quests. But apart from that, it didn't let you explore Hogwarts. But look at this. Like, it looks like in this game you're fully exploring Hogwarts. And there's a world map. It appears I can explore even further outside of Hogwarts. I think those games, the furthest you could go was like Hagrid's hut. And I have no idea where that is. I don't think there is a Hagrid's hut. Oh, wow. This is a huge... This is huge. Am I going to have to walk? No, I saw that I could use a broom. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station, so to speak. I had a complexion of the campus egg. I think it's because I don't see all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. I mean, that guy she was just talking about probably does need to have a few charms lesson. Because how do you go tell your girl she looks like a hippocampus what egg? Learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. Jinx? Like Jinx from Arcane? He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. And Hogsmeade. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. 
Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops. I don't know you'd tell a kid about You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thanks. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much But to I want learn. to get that peach. Actually, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. You don't see. What do you mean I'm afraid there isn't? Oh, wait, what? Oh, like I meant to tell her that it's not the truth. But you know what? I like Weasleys, okay? Is there a difference? I don't think it really matters. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than... Eh, whatever. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your She's so proper. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I am still playing a movie and I won't Good run around blasting guide. things. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Can I talk to you? No, I can't. Can I blast you? Wait, I hit the... Whoa. So all you guys do is grunt and groan. It's not like in Harry Potter 5 where hitting someone with a spell immediately began a duel and you'd now just 1v1 each other. I still cannot take that. I'm guessing I need like a pulling charm. Akio. Revelio. Hey, feel good. Central Hall. I'm not going to be reading those, I'll be honest. Um... Why is this blue? Rebellion. I was trapped on the grand staircase once. Anyway, back to Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Oh, my bad. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. 
Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. I'll be honest, I kind of have to go right now. I can track available quests. Completing main quests. Some quests are locked by spell and or level. Okay. Wait, wait, I didn't get that. Um, okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Oh, the Vanda is still around. I thought this was super far back. Anyway, like I was saying, I do kind of need to leave right now. So thank you. Thank you for getting this far with me. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much. Can I jump and just wait? Can I jump? No. Anyway, thank you guys. See you in the next one.